13 Rwanda nationals who have been facing prosecution for various crimes committed in Uganda have been handed over to the Rwandan authorities. Earlier this year, Uganda also freed nine Rwandan nationals who had been in detention since 2018. Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa says these acts are aimed at furthering goodwill. But for us, we are doing what we hope that will be reciprocated and will lead to normalization of relations. We are not saying people are innocent. We are just saying we want to clear the way to normalize relations. The released Rwandan nationals have been battling charges relating to human trafficking, espionage and illegal possession of firearms, cases which were being tried at the General Court Marshal. It is Uganda's expectation that the government of Rwanda will ensure that they never return to Uganda to carry out the activities for which they were arrested and arraigned before the courts of, before the courts of law. And most importantly, it is Uganda's expectation that Rwanda too will reciprocate the goodwill gesture by addressing the concerns that Uganda has raised, including people being detained and including still, still incarcerated, incarcerated in Rwanda within the Rwanda framework, uh, which requires immediate action. The Rwandan authorities, on the other hand, say they are committed to fulfilling the Rwanda agreement. Uh, I would like to tell you that uh, the government of Rwanda is fully committed to implement the Rwanda memorandum of understanding, especially concerning what you are saying, and the government of Rwanda, I'm not aware of any uh, propaganda or comments negative to Uganda, <coughs> which have been said of recent. On Friday this week, President Yuri Kaguta Museven of Uganda and Paul Kagam of Rwanda are expected to hold a meeting at the Katuna border post and sign a memorandum of understanding which will see the eventual opening of the border. The border was closed in February 2019 after Rwanda accused Uganda of harboring distance, plotting to overthrow President Kagame's government. Uganda has repeatedly refuted these allegations. So there's been a loss, there's no question about it, and both sides have lost. There is always no winner in closing borders, in uh, poor working relations between nations. So I hope that we can all be on demand and move forward, especially in East African community. Samuel Senono, UBC News.